Hello and welcome to another edition of Will's Grill Shack. Today we're doing some Chinese chicken wings on the Kamado Joe. Don't forget guys, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button below and join me for more content like this every week. And while you're subscribing to the channel, don't forget to check me out on Instagram. It should just be here. I post daily content and weekly cook-alongs, so I'll see you over there. So, chicken wings. Whenever I put up a post on Facebook or Instagram or whatever it may be, everyone says, how do you do your chicken wings? So I thought, what better way to show you than do a video? So we're doing my own special recipe. Uh, it's a Chinese spice recipe with a bit of hoisin in it. It's really, really good. Get a nice flavor. It does take 48 hours on a marinating time, but it is well, well worth it. So let's go back 48 hours and I'll take you over to the bench and I'll show you how to make up the marinade and how to prepare your chicken wings. Okay, so here are our chicken wings. These are big, they're um, free range chicken wings. And as you can see there, so we're gonna wanna take these tips off uh, then we're gonna wanna split it between the flat and the drum. So let's do that now. So you wanna get in here where the actual bit of the bone joins and then you just get your knife and you just slice down like that and it comes away really, really easily. Keep those because it's really good for chicken stock. Now, to separate the two, find the little middle bit of flappy skin like that, slice down like this until you come to the bone and then you just slice through and it's as easy as that. And then you've got your drum and your flat. Then you just repeat the process for how many wings you have. Okay, so now we need to make our marinade. The exact measurements for this will be over in the description, so check that out if you want that. First things first, some uh, hoisin sauce, red Chinese cooking wine, sesame seed oil, finely chopped garlic, finely chopped ginger, dark soy, and hot sauce. Then we just wanna mix this up. And there you go. So bring back your um, drums and flats that have been separated, put them into a Ziploc bag, pour the mixture into the bag, seal it up, and then really mix it into the skin, just massaging it in just like that. And then it should look like this. And put it in the fridge for 24 to 48 hours. So that's now the wings all prepared. As you can see, I like to cut them into the drums and flats. I find that's the really best way to cook them. And you also get a lot more um, on the plate. And it seems like there's a lot more when in reality there's actually not. So in the comments below, let me know if you're a drums or a flat person. It'd be interesting to see what you all think. Okay, so we're now back 48 hours on. Let's go and fire up the Kamado Joe. We're gonna be aiming for about 220 degrees and we're gonna be direct cooking these. So as you can see, the Kamado Joe got half a firebox full here three fire lighters and we're using globaltic charcoal. You'll find the link to globaltic charcoal in the description. Go over there, check that charcoal out. It's the best that I've seen. So the Kamado is now up to temperature and you can see that it's at 220 degrees. So now let's get these wings on. Okay, so as you can see, put the wings now onto the grill. Uh, I like to put them around the outside um, of the grill. It's just at the coolest point, so they do cook a little bit slower. And then at the end, we move them into the middle of the grill. Uh, also, you'll see here that we keep the sauce uh, or the marinade. And what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna brush it on over the chicken. So you'll see me here just turning them over. The trick to these is just to constantly keep turning, keep turning every sort of one, two minutes. That way you're gonna get it nicely cooked all the way through. And the skin is gonna be crispy all the way around, which is what you're looking for with the perfect wings. So as you can see here, we're just gonna brush these one last time and then we're gonna put them straight into the middle, which you can see, and then we're gonna get those straight off and onto the bench and we're gonna garnish. Now, as you can see here, I like to garnish um, with the sesame seeds. So you put the sesame seeds over the top. Then we get our chives to sprinkle those over the top. You can use spring onion as well. That works equally as good. And then I like to put the chili over the top as well, which just gives it that extra little bit of kick. And just look how good those are. They look incredible. They look like little bits of chicken candy is the only way I can describe them. Absolutely pucker. So there's only one way to try and see how good it is. It's time for the taste test. Now I am excited about this. It looks really, really good. The glaze on it, everything is spot on. So now it's for the taste test. Oh, it's as good as ever. I do this recipe every single time because it's just bang on every single time. So, so tasty. It's got a lovely little heat to it as well. Absolutely cracking. You've got to give these a go. I mean, if you've done my Jack Daniels ribs, you've done the other recipes I've done, I'm not lying to you. These are absolutely incredible. So let's just recap on uh, what we've done today. 
Um, we've got some chicken wings, they were pretty big ones to be fair. Um, I just had eight of them, cut them in half, and we had the drums and the flats. Um, we then made up our own marinade, which you'll find in the description. We left that for 48 hours to really soak into those wings and really get the flavor into them. We then fired up our Kamado Joe Big Joe 3. Um, probably a little bit overkill for this cook, should have used the Junior really, um, but we fired up the Big Joe and we left the wings for 48 hours and then we put them onto the Kamado um, and I like to put them as I say around the outside of the barbecue because I find it just cooks them a little bit slower and then at the end you put them into the actual heat. Remember to keep turning, just keep turning them because you really want them to cook all over nice and evenly and keep brushing them. I mean I brush them three times with the leftover marinade. Then as you're about to get them off you put them straight into the middle, into the fire and you really get that nice crisp up on the glaze. We got them onto the bench and then we garnished. Now garnish is obviously what makes it look really good and it adds that little bit of flavour to it and the chilies definitely did. So you have chilies, chives, and sesame seeds. And we also drizzled a little bit of the hoisin sauce that we used over the top. Absolutely incredible recipe, and you really need to give it a go. So if you've enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button here. Tell me, are you a drums or a flats? As it's pretty clear, I'm a flats kind of person. Really, really enjoy them. And join me next time for another edition of Wheels Grill Shack. Thank you for watching.